Hello, this is Robert Ketzel with Real Estate Professionals, and I'm standing here in front of 1604 Himes Lane in Joppa, Maryland. This is a really great opportunity in my opinion, and uh, the property is located in the Falston School District. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, and we're going to take a look through uh, this property and the one next door. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the neighborhood. Very quiet and peaceful. Large lots. As I said, it's in the Falston School District. This property at 1604 is uh, right at about a half acre. It does need an extensive renovation, and I think that's what most people are going to be looking at this thing to do, is to uh, possibly add a second story on it or uh, add some square footage on the side. So let's take a walk around the outside. This property is uh, a well and septic area. The well pump does not work, and more than likely, there needs to be a new well drill. So I don't have a lot of information on that. So this, to me, appears to be the well for this property, and it looks like it might be a hand dug well. Although there's a possibility that the well might be in this little little wooden well house on the side of the, uh, or pump house on the side of the property. So what I think should be done here is to uh, stay with this existing square footprint. Square footage is somewhere close to 600 square feet. You put a second story on and double it, you're close to about 1,200 square feet. So there's really not a whole lot salvageable here, but I think it makes more sense to renovate this place rather than try to tear it down. I assume the permit process would be a lot easier. It is a crawl space. You do need some block work here and there. So let's talk about the septic system. So the septic system is not that old. This is a best available technology system. So the system is newer. It does require some maintenance, but it's a, a real system and uh, good for a two bedroom home. So I think if you renovate this property, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it into a two bedroom home with a den. And if somebody happens to use it as three bedrooms, well, you know, that's, uh, that's on them. So I see this possibly being a three bedroom, two bath, colonial style home. 1200 square feet and uh, being worth 300k or more once it's renovated. This structure here needs to be torn down. It's worthless. There's not like a real foundation here. So we'll walk inside the main house. As I said, there's not a whole lot to see, but we'll take a look anyway. Ceiling height is about seven feet, which you're going to correct, obviously, if you're going to put a second level one. So there's not really a whole lot to see here. So the property next door is for sale, and there's a possibility of selling these two properties together for uh, a little bit more of a discounted price if you do two of them. What I've heard is that somebody attempted to perk this other property here in the past, and they were unable to, but that's been many years ago. You will need to verify that information for yourself. 
So this property does not have any well or septic system. Once again, I'm not talking about 1604, I'm talking about 1602. Both of these properties are on about a half acre lot. So the other idea was if you bought both of these properties together, you could either number one, sell this house on a nice one acre lot, or you could put some type of outbuilding over here. Pole barn, a uh, big shed, two car garage, three car garage, whatever it is. So we'll take a walk around this one. I'm not gonna go inside this one, but as I said, it has no septic system, no well to this property. And uh, it will need its own electrical connection so we could treat it as raw land. So this lot definitely needs to be cleaned up. There's not too many opportunities to buy an affordable home for uh, 300 price point with an acre of land. So I'm told that this well here is on the 1604 property. So I think what you do is just tear this front off, maybe put like a deck with a covered porch, two-story colonial, about 1,200 square feet, two bedrooms, two baths, two bedrooms, two baths, plus a den. No basement, but a nice big lot. It's a very nice street of well-kept homes. I believe it dead ends down here, so there's not a whole lot of through traffic. It is in the Falston School District, of course, which is definitely a positive. See, there's some other really nice homes on the street. So that's it. This is a really good opportunity, in my opinion. It's a major project, but to the person that has the vision, I think they can profit handsomely by doing this deal. Thanks so much and hope you have a good day.